On today's home tour, we're back in Castaic at the Williams Ranch Plan 8 Meadow Home. What's so unique about this one? Well, if you need a multi-generational living suite, you have to check it out. Let's go inside and see what it looks like. So immediately when you come in here and you open the doors and right at the front door, you're gonna have this room and you can't make it into a, a bedroom. It really truly is an office. Maybe use it as a homework area or a toy room, but most people are probably gonna use it as a home office. So it's a great space for it because you got the double doors to be able to shut and give you some privacy. I guess it depends on your kids when it comes to that. But at the end of the day, it's a really nice space. Okay, so moving right along, right from there, it opens up to your living room and the adjoining kitchen and formal dining area. So I like what we have here. Again, you have the waterfall counter, right? Which is really beautiful. That is an upgrade. And I like what they did here is that they took the quartz counters and brought it all the way up as the backsplash as you have these very popular gray veins in it. Now here you have the decor appliances right here. That is an upgrade also. And you have your dark cabinetry. If you notice, if you've been following our home tours, people are getting away from the white cabinetry. Now people still like it, but it's you're starting to see a mix as you have the lighter flooring mixed with the darker cabinetry. And here you have the white uh, countertops, this extended island uh, counter with the sink included in it. So as always, this is your focal point of the actual room. And then of course you got your dining room. I love the wood beam ceiling on top. Gives it a nice touch. And then again, here is your living room. All right, so where are we right now? So again, this is uh, Williams Ranch, and this is built by Williams Homes. It, there's 497 home sites uh, in this uh, community. Um, they started in 2022, and here we are in 2024. This particular plan is a plan E. It's four to five bedrooms, uh, three and a half to four and a half baths, and 3,320 square feet. Um, there's no variances on this one. We feature some of the other ones where you can add an ADU to it. That's where the variance comes in. Not here. This is it. And you don't need an ADU because the guest suite's included. I'm going to show you more about that uh, more in a moment. Uh, okay, so uh, HOA, let's start with that uh, just to give you an idea. HOA is going to be $385 a month at the build out. But again, you know, that's going to include a lot. They haven't even started on building uh, some of the amenities, which would be a junior Olympic sized pool, a jacuzzi, outdoor kitchen, uh, maintaining five acres of orchards, uh, five miles of paseos, a clubhouse, and even five acres of, of vineyards. So that's kind of important to know. Uh, when it comes to Mellow Roos, and that's always the big question up here since we're in Castaic. Uh, you're just off the five freeway at uh, Housley Canyon. And uh, you know, you got your base of 1.25% in LA County, and then uh, all in, including the Melarus, it's gonna be 1.43%. So something to fit, to kind of think about. Uh, and you know, at least you know up front, but I will say that theirs is usually a little bit cheaper than most of the other newer construction up here in Santa Clarita and uh, Valencia. So uh, these guys, uh, like I said, you have 497 home sites. There's four different uh, communities and uh, there's a whole bunch of different options. And the big one here on the plan eight the, in the meadow, uh, this one's just over 3,300 square feet. And uh, this one actually uh, has a, a three car uh, tandem uh, garage. The base price for here is $1,090,000. $125, that's before any structural or design uh, upgrades. So we're gonna walk right in now to the guest living suite. So again, this is standard. This is not an option or an upgrade, this is standard. So this is why it's a very popular floor plan and it has its own separate entrance. You can see the door right there in front of you. So this is great because 
again, if you have in-laws, you have people visiting you, uh, whatever, however you want to decide that you would need to use the space and it's in the best interest of your family, uh, it's great because now you have this whole space downstairs uh, for them. I'm telling you, if my in-laws came, uh, they probably would not want to leave, um, and rightfully so. Um, at the, here's the bathroom in this living suite. We got the full shower enclosure and a really nice size bedroom. Now, the bedroom is not going to be huge, but it doesn't have to be. You know, like we've talked about so many more, so many times that this is so commonplace now with the multi generational living. This is what people want. And so, you know, if you have to have your parents or your kids coming home or whatever it may be needed, how you, you need to use it, um, it's really, really nice. And this is your powder room off the main living room. So that's your guest living suite. Um, pretty cool. And then, you know, we were talking about how it could either be four or five bedrooms. We're gonna get into that in a moment. Uh, here's your pantry with the glass door, which goes from top to bottom. All right, so we already covered Melarus. We already covered HOA. And so now it's time to mosey on upstairs and show you the rest of the house. So immediately when you come upstairs, you have this very large loft. And sometimes when you see these lofts, um, you know, it's right against the stairway and it kind of, you, people are gonna kind of be walking through there. Here, it's kind of pushed back a little bit. So let me get out of the way here and see if you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. Because normally this space right here, you have a lot of people that kind of, I wouldn't say a lot of traffic, but people are going passing through. And so because it's pushed back, you don't have that right here. But maybe you don't want the loft. And so instead you can make this loft an optional fifth bedroom and it would have a full bath. So if you don't want the loft, you could have this as an optional fifth bedroom and full bath if that's what your family needs. Me personally, I think that if you don't need that fifth bedroom, I like this up here to kind of give a space for kids, another area just to entertain, um, to kind of break things up. But whichever it may be, it's a, it's a good option to know that at least you could put in that fifth bedroom in here upstairs. Okay, so if you keep going over here, I'm sure my daughter would love this bedroom. Painted beautifully. And like a very lightish off-white pink. And then this is the bathroom that you would share with another bedroom right across from it. Again, your quartz countertop, the shower and tub with an upgraded tile. And then you have another vanity right here that attaches to the previous bedroom. And as we back out of here, I want to show you this. Man, my kids would love this. Look how cool that is. Now, obviously, this isn't something that you can get, but whoever did this on the wall, pretty cool artist. I don't know who MB is, but pretty cool. Pretty cool, for sure. And then you come over here, and this is another bedroom, most likely. You know, if you have kids, this would be another kid's bedroom. All right, so that's really cool. So now you've seen uh, two of the bedrooms upstairs, this optional fifth bedroom, the loft. And now we're going to come over to your laundry room upstairs with the sink. Again, the quartz top vanity, the dark cabinets that we always seem to see in these uh, laundry rooms and the cabinetry throughout the house. And this is your primary suite. So it has a beautiful balcony. Great to kind of watch the world go by and drink your coffee in the morning. And this leads you right into your primary suite. So once again, you have your dual vanities. And this is a nice upgrade. I like this tile right here. That's an upgrade. Something you could probably do yourself to be in all real honesty if you wanted to save money. But I like the soaking tub. And then if you back that over here, large walk-in shower with the sitting bench. And right next to that is your walk-in closet. 
and it's pretty deep. Wow, and then look, it even walks, wraps around just a tad as you come over to this side. So there you go. You have tons of open space here in this walk-in closet to put in whatever built-ins you may see fit. And then finally back here, you got your toilet. So really nice setup, nothing too elaborate, but really nice. Again, your soaking tub and you know, you could probably sit the whole family in there most likely. All right, so that's your primary suite. We'll go down and talk about a few other things, including schools in a moment. And this flooring isn't the normal flooring that you would get. Again, this is an upgrade. Uh, but speaking of upgrades, uh, a couple things that we've talked about. Um, if you use their in-house lender, they will credit you uh, 2%. Now you can't use that for reducing the price of the home uh, or the contract price, but it'll be based off the contract price and what you can do is take that 2% and either buy down the interest rate or if you'd like, you can use it towards your closing costs or you could even use it towards the design center. And speaking of the design center, the design center is only 15 minutes away. So like so many times where it feels like they're in create another county, literally, uh, you know, an hour and a half, two hours away uh, and they want you to do it on Zoom. You know, if you're buying a house in this price point, you probably don't want to be having to drive that far away. So that's really nice in the fact that you don't have to drive that far. It's only 10, 15 minutes uh, away. So um, just that alone uh, makes it really nice. So that's a really neat incentive. So these guys built some pretty uh, neat homes, um, with some really cool features um, that we've really come to, come to like here. All right, so uh, we talked about uh, schools. So it's in the Castaic Union School District. Uh, the elementary school is Live Oak Elementary, Castaic Middle School, Castaic High School. Um, so they, they do have some quick move-ins, uh, not necessarily this floor plan. And just an FYI, their quick move-ins are 30 to 45 days if flooring's already been done. If the flooring's on hold, then you're looking at about 60-day build-out. Um, and then if you wanted to start from scratch and you wanted, you wanted to decide what the structural and design upgrades were going to be, then you're probably looking at about seven and a half months, uh, maybe a little bit smaller or a time window or time frame if the house is under, you know, maybe 3,000 square feet. If it's a single story, smaller floor plan, it's not going to take as long as a two story might be. Um, you do have the option to lease or purchase. Uh, it, they used to be with Tesla. Now it's with Sun Power. So uh, that's something that you should uh, should know uh, on that. And um, it's a great community. They have several different floor plans to choose from. So in fact, we've only covered a few of them so far, but they actually have 15 model homes for you to be able to look at because they do have 15 different plans. So it's, it gives you an idea of, you know, depending on what you need uh, to kind of really be able to uh, kind of help you uh, in that facet. 75% uh, of the community is actually gated. So um, if that's something that you're looking for, it's like you can ask depending on where you might, your home site might be in the actual uh, community. So that covers a lot here as we walk back into the multi-generational suite. But let me know in the comments below if the multi-generational suite is something that you could use and how would you use it? Uh, or would you rather have one of the floor plans that has the built ADU on top of the garage or the RV optional garage in another floor plan that we've actually looked at. So I'm curious to let us know like what you actually think about, about that. All right, we're here in the backyard and they they said that here at Williams Ranch that most of the lots average about 11,000 square feet, but usable space in the backyard is about 7,000. So still really good when it comes to uh, square footage on that. And at the same time, you know, again, you're gonna be able to customize the backyard however you wanna be able to do so. Let's wrap some things up here. Uh, one of the things I wanted to tell you is that I don't work for the builders. Uh, I actually work for you. So I think it's really important that when you're buying new construction, you should have a real estate agent 
uh, help you. They can really guide you and answer your question and can act as an intermediary for you in case there's something that you don't understand from the builder, but you want someone that kind of is helping you out to kind of help understand better for you uh, to kind of make the, the situation better. We, we've really been able to help a lot of our clients buy new construction and kind of make it even the process even more streamlined just because of our relationship uh, relationship with the builder. So if you're looking at buying new construction, I uh, highly recommend using a real estate agent. Uh, more importantly, uh, we can really give you good guidance. And this is something I really like to do, letting you know things that you should invest in at the design center and things that maybe you should do afterwards, especially if you're gonna live in the house seven to 10 years, maybe you don't have to do it right away. And things that are gonna be giving you added value when it comes time to resell down the road. All right, any questions about new constructions, uh, this community in William Ranch or Williams Homes or anything about new constructions or real estate, feel free to reach out to me, write a comment down below or even uh, send me a DM. 